Praise the Lord, everyone. Welcome to God's Hiller 7 channel. I'm Sister Barbara, and I have another vision I'd like to share with you today. Uh, and again, I received uh, three visions, uh, I'd say, this morning. Uh, today is April 14th, 2013. Join me in the New King James Version Study Bible. I'm going to be in Revelation 6, and I'm going to read uh, verses 9, let's see, to 11. When he opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of those who had been slain for the word of God and for the testimony which they held. And they cried with a loud voice, saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true, until you judge and avenge our blood on those who dwell on the earth? Let me go a little further. Then a white robe was given to each of them, and it was said to them that they should rest a little while longer until both the number of their fellow servants and their brethren who would be killed as they were was completed. <clears throat> I already have the spirit on me here. The number of their fellow servants. Let's look at that if it says anything about that on the bottom here. The number of their fellow servants. Uh, God's appointed time, they were going to rest. Vengeance is mine, says the Lord, and it will come in his perfect timing. So we know that those people that are going to be martyred and killed, they are numbered. So this vision, uh, again, I got last uh, evening, the Lord brought me to um, what looked like a, a huge stone church. The uh, church service had just ended. Uh, the church leaders knew that they were meeting um, some sort of uh, government officials after the, ser the service, and they knew that they were being um, taken away. Apparently, during the church service, uh, one of the leaders of the church, I'll say one of the elders of his church, he had um, committed suicide, apparently, and there was some sort of a outbuilding or a garden area next to the church. He had hung himself there. So when the service ended and all the people came out of the building, all the members that had just been at the church service, they saw this man hanging uh, having killed himself and they went into panic and chaos took over and everybody was running around. During the panic and chaos another one of the church leaders fled. Uh, it appeared that he had gone out some sort of a side door and down behind the church building and the church seemed to be in some sort of a complex and there was a little, I want to call it an alleyway between buildings and I could see that the, the road was uh, tan bricks. So he, as he was running down this, this uh, pathway or little alleyway of tan bricks, my understanding was that um, he knew he had nowhere to go, <clears throat> he had no, nowhere to hide, and he knew that when he was caught, which he knew that he would be, uh, that he would be a kill, killed, just as the rest of the leaders that were being removed uh, from the church service, they were being arrested. So again, um, another very chilling uh, prophecy, uh, vision from the Lord, uh, showing me uh, things that are going to be coming shortly. And um, I was up in prayer all night last night. So if you're not saved, you need to call on the Lord. You need to repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus. You'll receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. And you need to do that right now. <clears throat> and I'm asking all those out there to join me in a prayer for the unsaved and the unrepentant, that they may come forward and not witness these things that are coming. In Jesus' name I pray. <clears throat> 